Hey everybody, Dino Time it is, and was more. Let's play more Luigi Superstar Saga in the last part. We got through Oho Ocean, thank god. <laughs> didn't, didn't take too long, and today we are going to go to the airport because Prince Peasley said so. But first, I want to do a quick scouting of the general area over here. We're off to the east of the castle. I, I, I know my directions, don't worry. And if we go in here, we have a pipe, so we can get to this general area pretty quickly now. And this general area is actually pretty important because somewhere around here. I honestly can't remember quite where. There is... In sure, it's just, um... Sledge and, Sledge and the other person kinda live here now, and they can upgrade our hammers. And they can upgrade them twice, I think, depending on how far in the game we are, so that's good. And I don't think we showed out these... I don't think we showed out these bob bombs yet, why don't we do that? Now, bob bombs in this game work like they do in almost every other Mario RPG. If you attack them, I'm pretty sure they explode, so... It'd only be smart if we did that. Now, I think Firebrand can take them up pretty easily, and then, okay, Thunderhand doesn't do that much. Now, I think if we avoid- oh! What? I think when they attack you, they sometimes blow up. Yeah, that seems like it's the case. <laughs> Luigi looks so happy. <laughs> okay, now, where is the thing with the thing and the stuff? This game hates me. I am trying to find this thing, and it doesn't want me to. I don't think it's up there, although it might be worth a look. Oh, this is for later. Okay. Durr, no matter what you hit me with, you can't knock me down, I think. Alright then, that is lovely. Thank you so much for telling me your life story. I am very appreciative of that. <laughs> well, anyway, what's up, guys? Right now, it is... It's 10 a.m. on a Monday. I stayed home from school because I am tired. And my parents are awesome, so they kind of just let me stay home from school when I'm tired. Because I think they kind of get that when I'm tired, I don't really learn anything at school, so... Just be, just, just be better off not going. And plus, when I fall asleep in class, my, my teachers give me a really, like, evil eye. It's, it's kind of scary, actually. Okay, well anyway. <laughs> that fun little story aside, random bean out of nowhere. Keep finding these, okay. Now, I say we... I say we kind of rendezvous back at the castle town before we- Oh, no! <laughs> These enemies hate me very much at all. It only takes like two seconds to kill them, so I'm not even gonna bother cutting this one out. There we go. So yeah, I say we kind of rendezvous back at castle town first, see if we can get any new equipment, get some new items, get, get, get some more syrups, because we need more syrups. Syrups. Get some more syrups. Hi there. Give me syrups! Give me all your syrups! Oh. Well, I guess that's kind of an inside joke. If Slush is watching this, he's laughing. Okay. Now, do we have anything worth selling? Uh... Oh, you, you can actually sell old badges and stuff. I didn't know that. So there you go. You can sell your old crap that you're not using. <laughs> okay, I, I want to leave! Let me go! God! Now, while I'm here, I might go ahead and um, visit the cafe place. Although, I don't remember for the life of me which which of the... um coffees I already made, so, and yes, I'm, I'm, I'm saying coffees as plural, because I suck. Alright, give me new things! No, oh, it doesn't have anything new. Oh, you suck. What about badges? Nope. Well, this was a pointless trip. You, sir, are useless to me! Okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and visit the, uh, cafe thingamajig, because we did get quite a few beans while we were at Woohoo University. Okay, I don't think we made that. Back to the menu. I think we made the Chuckle Blend and the Chuckle Chino. So why don't we see if we can make... Oh, we can't make that. <laughs> can I make any of these? <laughs> Not looking like it. It's... Wow, I only need one more bean for that one. <laughs> Wanna change it? Ah, fine. We'll screw that, we'll screw that for now then. We'll come back later once we have more beans, I guess. I might, you know, just for the hell of it, I might grind off camera, but I don't know. Alright, now we're actually going to go ahead and do what we're supposed to do, and that is go south of the Bean Bean Town so that we can go to the airport and greet Princess Peach and all that good stuff. It's we're, we're like four minutes into the episode and I'm just not doing this. And how did I miss this bean? I suck. There we go. Okay. Bean Bean Intel Airport. What's an Intel? Huh. All the... 
Well, logically, the only way to get into the airport is by, you know, activating these things. It's, 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 it's kind of a common theme here in Bean Bean Kingdom, you know. All, all the citizens know how to, you know, light things with lightning with their hands. And it, it, it's pretty common knowledge, really. All right. Can I break this? Obviously not. Yeah, so I, I couldn't find Sledge and Mallet's new little house thing, so that's kind of unfortunate. This is such a waste of time, why am I doing this? Screw you. Okay, to the airport! Oh, this looks very nice. Bean Bean Air is busy with her pairs at the moment. None of our plants are flying. Then... You know, th th this is what I hate about airports. You, you have to wait all the time. Like, wait wait for your plane to take off, wait for the plane to get there, and... Mario Luigi, Lady Lamb is calling for you. I, th I thought the plane wasn't here! They lied to me! Oh, Master's Mario and Luigi, Queen Bean was most pleased by your efforts at the University. I know, right? We are so awesome. By the way, there has been a slight, slight hiccup in our plans to welcome Princess Peach. You see, nasty piranha plants have dug their roots into the runway. Her airplane can't land. <laughs> Luigi, that's not how you get them out of the ground. What? You haven't... you want to know why repairs haven't been made? Well, with the Cacleta incident, it didn't seem like a priority. <laughs> but enough about that, we, you must do something about these disgusting product plants. Sure. So yeah, we need to kind of take out these... things, product plants, <laughs> so that the plane can land. So, there's kind of three big areas here. Let's see, I think this is the... Yeah, this one's the farthest to the right. Now you'll see, there are these beans laid out everywhere around here. So uh, off camera, I'm just going to go ahead and really quickly get all those. Okay, there are a lot of beans to get here. I counted at least ten. And I lost, yeah, I, I, I lost count, which is pretty sad considering there was only like ten. So that goes to show that I cannot count to ten. So, the way that you actually want to take on these Prana Plants, rather than rather than, than just fighting them, which you can't do, you wanna spray them. Then we can... Get a Luigi. Luigi. And... Light them on fire. Or electricity, I guess. And there you go, that's the way you actually want to get rid of these piranha plants. That, that took me a while to figure out my first playthrough. But really quickly, I'll go ahead and show off the actual enemy, so... no, oh, the hammer didn't do anything! See, these piranha plants are extremely weak, although they are annoying to dodge. Well, not really, I just kind of suck. Now, I'm thinking they're weak to fire, but I don't quite remember. No, they're actually... They actually heal from that. If you get a blue number when you hit them, that means they heal from it, so... There we go. In there. Yeah, Prano Plants, really, really weak. Now, he will respawn if we leave the area, I think. Yep. Oh, damn it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, off camera, I actually fought that thing, as you saw, and I used uh, the advanced version of Splash Brothers on it, and it did about 150 damage, so that's pretty awesome. I am very proud of myself. We're getting to the point in the game where we where we, where we start doing like over 100 damage on these weaker enemies, so that's pretty awesome. Alright, now... I think there's three more of these things on the runway. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna cut ahead to when we are done hitting all these things. And that's five, okay. Not that hard. And after zapping all five of those... Birdo hatches! Oh, no. That thing hatches! I don't know, I, I kinda like it better than Birdo. I mean, at least it's not a transvestite. Um, it would be in your best interest to save before fighting this thing, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that. Here we go. Okay, now this boss is actually really hard. As a matter of fact, this was the first boss in my personal first playthrough that actually made me restart the game over and over again just because I couldn't beat it. And I mind you, my my first playthrough wasn't that long ago. It was last summer. So yeah, this is actually a pretty hard boss. This is the Mom Piranha, and she has her two little minions here. Now, I think... I don't know, honestly. I don't remember the logistics of this fight, as in how you're actually supposed to do it, but I do believe... You want to take out the Prano Plants first, so we'll go ahead and do that. I probably should have used Lightning there, but whatever, it's faster. And this thing has some really tough attacks to dodge. As you did, yeah, as you saw there, I did like 10 damage each Mario and Luigi, and I forgot the- Oh my god, I forgot the heal! That's gonna cost me, definitely. Now, actually, you'll notice if you try to attack Mom Prano now, I believe it only does like 1 damage. Oh no, it actually does do damage, okay. But I remember there being some kind of really annoying gimmick to this fight, though, and I can't quite remember how to do it. 
I guess I'm just stupid. Oh, that one missed completely. Now, for some reason, in my first playthrough, I had a really hard time dodging those Prime Plants, and it's looking like that is still the case here, so that's good. Go ahead and use our nut. Heal up a little bit, especially Luigi. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, now, let's see if we can actually avoid this now. There we go. And, wow, he healed. Or she healed, I guess. Now, I think after we... No, don't attack the... Don't worry, we're getting to you, Prana Plant. Stop. Three attacks, really? I only get two. And sometimes I miss. There we go. Okay, now after she doesn't have any of those left, she'll start doing these Vine Whip attacks. Which are, of course, very annoying, and I'm stupid, so I can't dodge them. Now, I think if we use this lightning on her, she will go into, like, kind of a second phase, in which she spawns blue Prana Plants, and she herself is blue, so that'll, that, that'll be fun. Wait, this doesn't make any sense. When you when we shot brothers on her, she kind of huh? Now they do it. Yeah, if you use lightning on her, she'll spawn those things, and she'll become blue. Now I think at this point her attack goes up and her defense drops. I think I don't know. I really should have looked up the logistics. Oh no, I remember. Now rather than being weak to electricity, they are weak to fire. So why don't we go ahead and use that? Here we go. So yeah, pretty. Pretty easy pattern. Now let's see how we can do a famous version of Knockback Brothers. Wow, I was actually doing pretty good. Oh, wow! <laughs> that was easy! Wow! I'm actually pretty mad, because uh, I thought this was going to be a really long, hard fight, but no, that was easy. Pathetic, even. <laughs> well then, that's nice, question mark. Go straight for BP. Come on, not a one. Yes! And Luigi gets his level up too. Very well deserved. And... Not oh, HP. BP. Anything but a 1. Okay, that'll do. Heh. <laughs> He's dead. Or she's dead, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Luigi! That's so rude. God, some people. Okay. Yeah, that fight wasn't too bad. On your first playthrough, that can be pretty tough, though. Well done, Mario Brothers. Now we can welcome Princess Peach to our fair kingdom. You'll notice that this ship is kind of similar to the one in Super Mario Sunshine. So that's nice. I just noticed, why is there a well on the... Oh, whatever. Theming Castle Court Gardens. We teleport it here, it would seem. And I guess Mario and Luigi are... <laughs> d conversing with the locals. Hush everyone, Princess Peach, representative of the Mushroom Kingdom, brings greetings. We know who you are, you don't need to greet us! Actually, she didn't she lose her voice? But I thought she lost her voice. That doesn't make any sense. My Luigi, thank you so much for all you've done. I am so relieved that the two of you are safe. But You shouldn't be speaking! <laughs> Terribly amusing, yes, come now, don't be so startled. Maybe this has to do with the thing that Prince Peasy knew something that we didn't. So Princess Peach's voice was never stolen. I'm not gonna lie, this actually really surprised me on my first playthrough. I knew Kakaleta was after the royal voice, so I beat them to the castle and warned the princess. So, when they were taking Peach's voice, they were taking it from a decoy? And the real Peach was hiding in the purple. This is the Princess Peach whose voice was stolen. Ew! And that is why the Beanstar reacted so strangely to her voice. Now, we'll explain it. I don't think anybody wants to hear Berta's voice. Oh, that's a st rapist! <laughs> oh, look, a bigger rapist. As you can see, every card in our hand truly was better than, than hers. That's good. Mario and, Lu Mario and Luigi. God, I'm, I'm studying a lot. I don't, I don't know why. Mario and Luigi, I am so sorry to have caused you such trouble. Yes, you should be. Intended by da da ba da ba da, but Bowser beat you there. Oh, I see. So she intended to, to tell us, but Bowser kind of beat us to it. And I lost my chance to spill the beans, so to speak. Oh, you suck. But you defeated Kakalife nonetheless. And that is something to be congratulated for. So everything we just did was pretty much worthless. Last 20 parts? Completely pointless. 
Awesome. By the way, there's no sign of what's left of the Bean Star. It apparently broke into four pieces, which seemed to be lost. And so, I am off yet again. I must sally forth to look for the pieces of the Bean Star. Okay. So we can kind of relax, I guess. There's nothing to really do. No objective. I'm bored!